What's up guys, I'm Dan. I did five years at Harvard and I am a passionate anthropologist. I am very passionate about my work. I've spent a lot of time doing shit around here. And right now we're in the most historical place in the world even. We're in Norwich, Connecticut. And right behind me, this, you know, to you, you, you guys are pretty stupid so you might not know what this is. But this actually is a bone from an Indian. So, you know, a long time ago and whoever the fuck knows when, you know, Indians were around here. And up there, we're gonna check out an Indian campsite. And it looks satanic, because there's like satanic rituals. Whoa, guys. All right, so right here is, uh, right up there, you might not be able to see from right here, but that is a pretty big uh, fucking campsite. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm professional. Right here is a small one, and that kind of looks like, this kind of looks like a, you know, a weapon, or, you know, this actually, you might not believe me because you're fucking stupid, but, you know, see how they're separate? This was actually a gay Indian campsite because they had to be separate like the whites and blacks, but they're gay and the straights didn't want them. So this could either be a weapon they used to protect themselves or a weapon they used to pleasure themselves. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we are gonna go check out that one next, but I feel like this one's pretty cool. All right, we have arrived. So as you can see right here, um, back in like, I would say the 1600s, you know, and guys, remember, I am a very highly trained professional antitopologist. All right, I did go to Harvard. If you try to backtrack me, I'll fuck you. All right, so this is what they used to try and, um, you know, express themselves you know how we have so many ways to express ourselves they did it with retarded looking art so right here you know this looks like a retarded smiley face but we don't know what it meant to them all right there's some cool things over here i think this is like some satanistic writing molly i think i didn't know they had molly back then but i think that's molly what they were referencing so see this is the straight straight campsite um obviously heavy drinkers because they have glass they broke they broke glass bottles heavy smokers too as you can see very ancient bluntville vanilla wraps you know obviously they went down to their local uh 7-eleven because you know they had 7-eleven was around in the 1700s 1600s all right and uh if you follow me uh you know, you see a lot of interesting artifacts like this. George Washington himself came here right before he became president of the United States. This is actually a piece of glass from his beer bottle. Would you believe it or not? All right, guys. So we have made it to, you know, one of the most historical spots right here under my feet is a Cherokee Indian tribe satanic ritual spot. If you see right here, if my cameraman may zoom in, that is a Satan picture. They use that to call the devil. You know, they're, I don't, I'm not Satanistic, so I don't know all this shit, how to summon him. But, you know, this is one of the spots, and it's honestly pretty cool. You know, I'm a man of Jesus. Um, but if you come over here, this is a... Uh, sacrifice spot which they did for the gays before they kicked them out and uh you know you might be asking me oh how do you know that's gay blood if you get close enough and look you can see the aids you guys might not be able to see it because you guys didn't go to harvard i did so and a lot of you are like i don't think this dude's really from harvard i don't think he's really an anthropologist i promise you i did my five years at harvard i graduated the top of my class and I am a very passionate anthropophys. And uh, I promise to God that, you know, this is my passion. I worked at the Sisponium and Pollution. And I, I love doing this shit, guys. It's, it's my passion. All right, guys. So you guys might, might not know where we're at right now. But this right here is the Underground Railroad where Harriet Tube Man brought all the slaves to free them you know he was a really good guy and he did a really good thing for the black community you know we got to respect him because that slavery shit was bad fuck that shit but yeah 
um, this actually is where, you know, the Underground Railroad was. And it's actually pretty fucking cool that, you know, I'm standing right, right in front of so much history, you know? And, uh, honestly, you know, hundreds of years ago, there were slaves being freed from here. And it's crazy to realize that. All right, guys, so... We're almost at the beginning of the trail, as you can see. You know, pretty nice place. But if you look right here, this old piece of metal. You guys know what this was? I'll give you a second to comment what it was. All right, too late. It's a fucking piece of a musket from back in the 1600s. And, you know, the Cherokee Indians over here used to use muskets to defend themselves. Because there was other tribes trying to kill them. And they're like... Nah, fool, you stepping on the wrong block, homie. Pow, 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 pow. History, motherfucker.